I don't want to get your hopes up or anything, but it actually looks like there's going to be an election a lot sooner than most of us thought. Now, the reason I say this is because, as we, we know, the bloc has kind of formed a sort of a new coalition with the liberals. However, they are much more strict, or as it seems. So it says here, the bloc gives liberals a few days to avoid early election by increasing OAS for all seniors. If the liberals don't, Blanchette said he is prepared to start talks with other parties to topple the government and plunge the country into an election as of next week. Right, so we could be getting into election season really, really quickly here in Canada. And again, yes, there's things that have to happen. Is it guaranteed? No. However, I did also want to show you guys here. These are the, the members of each party. So liberals, conservatives, bloc, NDP, green, yada, yada, yada. So the liberals right now have 153 seats. The Conservatives have 119, the Bloc 33, the NDP 25, Greens 2, Independent 2, and there's two vacant. So the problem with the Bloc is that if they join up with the Conservatives just by themselves, it's not enough to over to get the, co the uh, election unless someone from the NDP or a couple people from the NDP or the Greens or the Independents vote with them because if the NDP and the Liberals go together and it's and the Greens join them and the Independents join them, we'll, we'll be just short of having an election. So I pulled this up. Yeah, it's by CBC, but they broke down the numbers actually pretty well here for a fake news organization. So this chart here shows if the NDP abstains and block votes, no confidence. So the numbers are broken down like this. Vote for... 119 for the Conservatives, plus 32 for the Bloc, 2 for the Green, 2 Independent, would be 155 votes. Vote against would be 152 Liberal, 2 Independent. And abstain would be New Democratic. So they, I believe if you abstain, that's just kind of um, like a, a no vote. Let's see if there's information here. Right, so it says MPs aren't forced to vote in every motion. They could essentially just say, you know what, we'll let you guys figure it out. That's not impossible that that happens, especially if Jugmeet Singh wants to sit there and be like, hey, listen, I've ripped up the agreement. I mean, he said it like 40 times, right? Now, that being said, the problem there is that the NDP is broke. They can't really afford an election, so I'm not sure if they would abstain from the vote here. Maybe they would, maybe they won't. But if they did, it would be 155 for, 154 against which would be enough. Is that likely to happen? I'm not sure. But let's be honest, the NDP and Jagmeet Singh is also on a lot of pressure right now because they've come out and said, again, they've ripped up the agreement, but they've also come out and said that it's that between them and Pierre Polyev and it's the elections between us. Well, Jagmeet, if that's the case, then give it to us. That being said, if the Conservatives and the Bloc team up and they only team up and the, and the NDP votes against, there's no chance. That being said, and I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't know that you could abstain. I thought if, if there was a, a vote for a motion, I thought you had to vote yes or no. So, um, yeah, showing off my uh, inexperience there a little bit. But hey, it's good to learn things even if you're... It's good to learn things when you're still kind of learning about politics. But that being said... It's very interesting here because you know, there's not really any other scenario where the conservatives can win. Now, the, the thing is, is that if the new Democrats, and again, if it's up to the NDP, I don't think it's happening until April or May. Because once Jugmeet has his pension, there's even more hatred for the liberals. That's the time where I think he's going to pounce. But that being said, maybe they choose to abstain. You know, it's actually funny, too, because Ryan from Northern Perspective has also predicted that the election is going to be a lot sooner than people think and possibly even before Christmas. He might be right. And that dude's a political wizard. That guy knows a lot about politics. He would have a better guess than, to be honest, me for sure, and probably most of you as well. I don't know if you guys know as much or, or more than he does, but he knows a lot and he seems to think that it's going to happen. Tanya more agreed with me where it's, you know, it's probably going to be till after Jugmeet Singh gets his pension. With that being said, if the NDP's broke, how could they call an election right now, considering they already have a loan out for $20 million that they have not paid off? That being said, there's probably other banks that will give them that loan. And then if they do, 
they'll be in the hole even more. I mean, they're going to become insolvent. <laughs> I mean, they're arguably insolvent right now, right? They have like $200,000 left. So, I mean, it's not looking good for them. Not to mention, there is pressure from the voters of the NDP to call an election as well. It's not just conservatives. There's about 60% of Canadians who won an election this year. And then I believe it's around 70% of the people who won it before the scheduled election, right? So there are people on the left who do kind of want this thing to get over with, I think, because they know what's happening. And it's only going to get worse if this thing stays along. So maybe. And again, it's only a maybe. Don't want to get your hopes up. But with this scenario, and considering how much you know the... The liberals are also under pressure right now. They're being forced to turn over some documents to the RCMP regarding some slush fund where he apparently just paid off a bunch of his buddies. And Greg Fergus, the Speaker of the House, has actually suspended any bills being passed. Not motions of non-confidence, that's, that's different from a bill, but any other bills that they want to pass, including Bill C-63 and Bill C-293, cannot be touched right now at all. I don't know how big of a win that is, but anything that puts more pressure on Justin Trudeau is a good thing for Canada. Because he doesn't handle pressure very well. I think we all know that. But let me know what you guys think. Am I being way too hopeful here? Am I being naive? I try not to be. I'm usually not naive. I'm usually more of the conspiracy th- uh, th- theory type. But when I hear this, when I see prediction for, like Ryan's from Northern Perspective, it kind of gives me hope. But we'll see. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again, guys, so much for watching this video, and I'll be back shortly with a new one.